Hey guys, it's uh, I'm back. Sorry, um, I got a bit of movie news for you. Uh, well, Henry Cavill or Cavill or whatever, uh, he was captured on set in his super suit, his Superman suit, and it has been leaked online. First off, I want to say that Cavill looks ripped, and I want to say he he said in an interview that he got in a much more a much bulkier physique than he did in his upcoming movie uh immortal uh, i also want to say this movie in one particular um picture looks like this superman's going to fight and i know that zod he's going to be throwing some punches zod and fiora and i'm not too sure who else because it looks like um they're doing some type of cg type deal but um Looks like Zod and Fiora and someone else are going to be, you know, pretty much stomping Superman's ass out. Um, but I want to emphasize how much that is a great idea. In the last Superman movie, we did not see him fight at all. All we saw him was lift up a plane, lift up uh, the metal ball on top of the Daily Planet, um, use his heat vision to melt glass, um, his ice breath, and pretty much that's it. And his flight, that's it. And pre he got and he got his ass kicked by Luther and his cronies with Kryptonite. Superman in that movie, he just wasn't that smart. He was more. It was more of a drama for Superman, I think, not really more of action. Uh, and it is frowned upon in the um, comic and movie community. So, yeah, that one sucked. But in the end, he lifts, he lifts up an entire, like, continent made of kryptonite. And he slowly weakens until he, like, throws it in the air and, like, into the sun. And just, like, crashes on Earth and sent to a hospital and pretty much flies away. Um, that's a brief synopsis of that. But I, I mentioned that movie because he did not fight one villain in that movie. His villain indirectly attacks him and pretty much Supes gets gets his ass kicked in the end of the movie. In this movie, it will be a more darker and less of a Boy Scout, more of a badass fighting Superman who can, you know, actually take his potential out on these Kryptonian bred villains. When I, when I say potential, I mean he can actually, you know. Use all of his strength if he needs, if hopefully if he needs to, and you know probably break a few buildings, but that'll probably be CG, and um he'll probably like try to punch him through a building, and the building will end up breaking, or he'll go a hole right through the building. But you know I'm hoping that's what type of movie this will be, Superman, you know using all his full potential, being kind of quirky, funny country, you know glasses boy. I want to see this. But back to the topic at hand. Superman suit looks very promising. And one thing that does indeed make me happy is the fact, n not idea, not theory, but fact, that Superman's red undies are now gone. And it's, you know, less focus on the crotch area when you see a man up in the, um, flying above you and all you see is red. And blue, and you know, you're focusing the red part, but blah, blah, blah. anyway, back to the topic. It looks as though he has some wrist gauntlets. This suit looks more like Cheney, like I said in my other video, similar to you know, so what some people would say to um, the new Spotty suit. And I must say, the textures and look for both are very similar these suits but they're very practical and they look something for battle ready but practical for their particular character I did say that Cavill is ripped and has been working intensely non-stop for this role in which he was turned down once before but that doesn't matter he's now our Superman now um, his symbol is a more comic like super s if you will and the yellow around it it's looks more dimmed down and not too like flamboyantly yellow not too like goldish but you know like a, a dim down yellow like a light and um 
But, well, that's been in other Superman movies, and so I think it's this is going to be, you know, more of a action. So take away from the symbol itself and to the man, the man that Superman is. He has a bit of padding, but um, and alien things. I don't know what you know we call them going on in the back area that led around to uh, like what I'm assuming is his belt and everything about the suit screams I'm from Krypton raised here on earth humbly but I know my Kryptonian roots you know now there will always be a little minor detail that I have to talk about you know quickly you know I'm not back in this movie or the suit it's just something I feel as a fanboy and practice express so um the one thing I'm not digging it in the suit or the Superman himself is the little part the little part in his hair doesn't seem like super, like something the big guy should have. I mean, I'm fine with the grease down here with a Jerry curl. I mean, it looks all good, but I, I just don't like the part. I do think the movie will bring us more action from Superman, something we haven't seen in many decades besides the comics. I will leave you a practical question. I think I asked this before, but someone needs to answer it, please. Uh, if you, um... Okay, if you're in Superman's boots, if you're the world's strongest man, what is so heavy, like literally, you can, you can lift everything, what's so heavy that gets you so buff, so like, in shape? Because, I mean, he really doesn't even work out, I think, he, we, he wouldn't have to, I mean, he doesn't get a workout. Alright, so thanks, There, I told you there's a fight in the way and it's coming immediately. And that's the promise. Don't forget to comment down below. Answer the question. Let me know. Subscribe. Um, and Superman Excelsior!